Hey, good thing I ain't take my buddy advice. <clears throat> my buddy Tevin. Good thing I didn't take his advice, man. I was at the truck stop last night on 75, Cartersville, Georgia at the Loves. And I was, I knew, I haven't been here in a while, but I knew they had a big parking area over there. When you first, first come in the gate. <clears throat> but you know that Loves fills up pretty quick. <clears throat> so I was telling him, I said, man, he was like, you ain't gonna find no spot at that Loves. I said, I'd probably find something out there. He's like, you might as well go to the shipper and spend the night. Cause I, I'm picking up a preloaded trailer. I got the load yesterday, but I couldn't pick it up to this morning. So he was like, yeah, I'm gonna spend the night at the shipper. But uh, I gotta have my coffee. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna stay at the truck stop. But I just got here to the shipper, as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. As soon as I pull in the gate, I see that big parking lot. I see like five or six signs say no overnight parking. So I think I did the right thing. Stayed my ass at the truck stop. So I was gonna take a shower last night, but they had like 20 people in line. So I got up this morning about about 6 30 I had, to, I had to wait on my dm to call me well to let me know what the trailer number was i got up about 6 30. i called i actually called here to this place Jerno steel and, and asked them if i could find out my trailer number and they was like we can't give it to you you got to get it from your dispatcher so i was like all right so i sent my dm a call call message asked for the trailer number she messaged me back. She was like, I ain't got the trailer number yet. So, I hung out at the truck stop. Went and took me a shower. Drunk some coffee. Went back to my truck. Sat down for a little bit. Now, here we go. At 9.16, I'm here at the place. I haven't been to this place in over a year. It's been that long. I really can't remember how to get back there to the back where I'm picking up my trailer at, but it can't be that hard. I'm just following the road. Now this load right here is going to Petersburg, Virginia to an Inframetals at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Wednesday. Inframentals. Man, it's a lot of stop signs. They're killing me. Oh, I got two stop signs right here back to back. And from looking at the load notes. It says stop at every stop sign. Or face disciplinary action. Up to or including refusal of load or abandonment from future Janot Steel properties. Sound pretty harsh, don't it? Hey, more of those story game. Hey, do the right thing. Uh-oh, drop yard preloaded trailers. We're getting warm, baby. We're getting warm. I got one more stop sign right here. Oh, stop. Complete stop. There yet? Hey, shout out all them Class B drivers out there driving the box trucks. 
living the class B flatbeds. Where's the drop guard at? I think I done hit all the stop signs. I got a buddy back home that drives class B uh, flatbeds. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, PNS day cabs out here, two of them. Let me find my trailer. I got an MB trailer. I'm dropping off an MB trailer too. What up, man? One of those untarked. Can't see the trailer numbers on the back. Let me blindside back this thing up real quick. Blindside back, baby. I don't always blindside. But when I do, I make sure I mention it. <laughs> Pull straight up, get this thing straight. There we go. if I can find my trailer. Hey, check this out, gang. What I was just talking about. Drivers must adhere to all stop and traffic signs and plant as if they were on a public highway. Failure to adhere to these guidelines will result in a potential lost customer and termination for our drivers. Nine stop signs, 10 full stops going out. You must come to a complete stop at all crosswalks. This is strictly enforced and must be obeyed. Hey, told you. If you are in violation of any, any of these rules, you are subject to lose your load up to including our company being barred from our plant. Hey, hey, they ain't playing out here. Something else I just found out too. Where is it at? I just seen it. Okay, still no tarp. So I, I did make a mistake by only looking at the tarp loads because I thought I was going to get a tarp load. So MB14030. That's my trailer. MB14030. Let's see if we can find it. MB14030. Whew. I only looked at the tarp loads. Lucky me. I don't have a tarp load. I got an untarp load, but on the tarp loads, the straps are already thrown over. So all you gotta do is tighten them up. So I gotta throw my own straps. MB trailer. Let's see which one it is. Let's 
PNS trailer right here. PNS, PNS. MB14030. It's my trailer right here. See how many winches? One, two. Looks like I gotta secure it myself. Piece of dunnage. They must have did that on purpose. So let's see. Two straps in the front. Uh, it's gonna take some work on this trailer. It's gonna take some work. At least there's no tarp. You know what, gang? Probably won't even use straps on this load. Yep, we're gonna do all, all chains. Probably do six chains. Yeah, probably just all chains. Cause it's a lot of, a lot of sharp metal. A lot of sharp metal, gang. I don't like that that level. It drops off right there. I don't like that one bit. Might mix it up a little bit. Use use some straps, some some chains. Might mix it up a little bit. I tell you what, I'm about to hurry up because I ain't got all day. Definitely about to hurry up. Yeah, see that that uh that tarp steel, it's flat. You can use all you can use straps on that. It won't make no difference. Let me show y'all how I gotta leave my trailer. I gotta leave my trailer just like this one. See how they got the dunnage laid out. I gotta take my dunnage out and set it up just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real, real quick so I can get to work on that, get to work on my load. Hey, I ain't even gonna play with it. I want y'all to look at something though. You see these four, these four binders right here? Look at these four. See the difference? These are the ones I always use. These don't get used too often. But I, I haven't used these in a while, but I oil them up before I put them back on the rack. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, unloosen them now, put some more oil on them. And while I'm throwing the chains, let the oil sit up there and marinate. Hey, I'm gonna show y'all the trick, man. I couldn't do it with these cause they too damn tight. But I can show you, I can show you with my good ones. Just gotta be careful. Don't hit yourself in the face. Cause you will do it. got them oiled up good. If they oiled up like they're supposed to, you can do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll never say I didn't show y'all nothing. Got all the chains up here on the spool, spool, not the, not the rub rail. All of them are hooked. I do mine upside down like that. I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but that's what my trainer told me a long time ago. To put them upside down like that on the spool. PNS policy.
I saved it. I saved the last two. These are already tight. So we gotta tighten up these two. Then we gotta hook my airlines up, crank that landing gear up. That's the, that's the old one right there. Had to do a little work on that one. Whew. Had to do a little work. This one right here shouldn't be too bad.
this around here like butter. See how easy this one is. Let's bite the other one. See who this is. Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna call you right back. Still working. Okay. Call uh, me on this phone because I find those on the other phone. Alright. I don't know about y'all, but I don't work to talk on the phone. Some of y'all truckers. Be out there with your headsets. Woo! Last one, baby. Woo! Last one. Ah, sweaty. Hey, them old ratchet binders. Hey, if you don't keep them oiled up. I had mine oiled up, but I just ain't used them in so long. They just been sitting there. Them old ones will kick your ass. I'm going to that same Love's that I stayed at last night. Probably about probably about 10 miles from here. I'm going there to get some fuel. I ain't got enough fuel to make it to South Carolina. Cause you know PNS, you know we ain't supposed to get fuel in Georgia. Doing a quick little tighten. Make sure all of them tight. Wrap the binders up. By the time I get to uh by the time I get to that loves, I'm gonna do another quick little load check. Get some fuel. Get 50 gallons. Just enough to get me out of South Carolina. I mean, get me out of Georgia into South Carolina. And then we're gonna we're gonna ride 85 all the way up. All the way up, Peter. Only thing I'm doing right now is tightening up the damn straps. So they don't come off when I drive. Hey, cause we don't want that to happen. I done had a strap come loose one time while I was driving. I was up in Pennsylvania. It was real close to my trailer tire too. I pulled over ASAP. That's tight. That one tight. Oh, there we go. Check the other side. Eight chains, no straps. Go ahead, throw this up. 
throw this strap while I watch the other side. Dust. I wear contacts too, if y'all didn't know. Well, y'all, some of y'all might know. If y'all see me in my older videos, where sometimes I had glasses on when I'm not wearing my contacts. But like right now, I've been pretty much wearing the contacts all the time. Cause uh, I, I like to put my sunglasses on. Oh, we ain't got no, uh, we ain't got no straps on this side. Just tighten this up. Hook the airlines up. We're gonna roll. Let's do a tug test real quick. Cause I ain't doing one early. Do a tug test. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Took me an hour to do that. Took me an hour. Fuck, I gotta sand my damn. I gotta find out my other trailer that I just dropped. Hey, while I got y'all right here too, I wanna show y'all something. Show y'all some stuff. See? I got like, I got like 20 of these. Orange, yellow, green. I even got some blue ones. Just wanted to show y'all this. <laughs> it's the same, same damn outfit I had on in that last video. But I pretty much wear uh pretty much wear that stuff every day. You know how it is. If y'all wanna know where I bought it at, you get it at Walmart, you get like two in a pack for like five or six dollars. Pretty good deal. I gotta send this to the part shipper. Let's see if we can tell which trail I dropped. Oh man. Before I do that, let me get my other trailer. The one that I picked up. Cause I can't never remember these damn trailers. I go somewhere, they be like, what's your trailer number? I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> hey, but luckily, most of the time I always got a picture in my phone of, of the load or something. Yeah, you know, man, we changed trailers. I just picked the trailer I just dropped. I just dro I just just got that trailer Friday. It, and it was an MB trailer. Can't keep up with these trailers. Very rarely do we keep the same trailer. Hey, that's a good hey. Some people don't like swapping trailers. I do, because I don't gotta get live loaded in and out except in a situation like this where i had to use those chains mb four oh one four oh three oh that's it gang that's it till next time flatbed game man hey make sure y'all make sure y'all use a trucker pad man let me, let me i got i gotta i gotta keep trucker path in the loop man they sponsor me, I gotta keep them in the loop. Hey, trucker path, gold and diamond keep getting better and better. Come see what you missed out on. Whew, diamond. Yeah, I got diamond status just because they sponsor me. <laughs> diamond. Flatbed game, Dion Melvin. Let me check something real quick. Hey, as you can see, I ain't in a rush. Definitely not in a rush. Cause this load don't deliver till 11 o'clock tomorrow. And I'll be there today. Oh man. Hey, trucker pad. Diamond subscription, the one I got. Unlimited stops, hours of service, optimization, 
fuel optimization, truck routing, which will come in handy for uh, guys that ain't got no ram and navy, like myself. You know y'all guys that use y'all phones for uh, navigation, whatever kind of apps they got. Turn by turn navigation, same thing as the truck routing. Turn by turn, turn left, turn right. Parking prediction, weight station prediction, no ads, night mode, an official diamond badge, offline maps. Hey, the prices shown in US dollars are subject to adjustment for other currencies in other regions. Please refer to the actual prices for your specific region on the payment page. Only one free trial is available per account. So, first seven days free, then you can subscribe monthly for $29.99. That's the diamond. Gold package, $9.99 per month. Hey, Trucker Path. Download it now in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Flatbed game. Got my name up there, got my face up there. <laughs> hey, it says it says diamond. Flatbed game and I got the snowman. Which reminds me, hey, drop the snowman's down in the comments, man, so I know you watched. Hey, like the video, share it with your friends, tell your mama, your daddy, especially guys going to truck driving school. Y'all new guys, man. Hey, share it with them. Hey, let's y'all know how I do. And right now, I'm about to get my ass on the road. I got about 530 miles to go. And like I said, I don't got to be there till 11 o'clock tomorrow, so I can take my time. I might go to, now I ain't going to the terminal. That's how I rap. I might go by the terminal tomorrow. So I can uh, grab my uh, driver appreciation t-shirt since this is driver appreciation week. I might go by the terminal. Woo! Make sure y'all join the Facebook Flatbed Gang group, man. I'm in there every day. I'm out, man. I love y'all. Flatbed Gang. 46 gallons. That's all we can get in Georgia. Pump cut off. 46 gallons. Can't even get 50, so I can at least get a shower credit.